everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Reproductions. Ben Hoffman here. Good to be with everybody again. Uh, well, another video, another musket. We have another one finished here. It was a custom order for a gentleman and pretty soon here we're going to be shipping it out so I thought it'd be fun to do a video on it. Uh, this particular one is another English musket, first pattern, brown bess, and more specifically the 1742 model. Um, the 1742 model differs slightly from previous models. Uh, a couple of things they did, they added a bridle to the lock, uh, they beefed up the trigger guard, beefed up the wrist area, and overall made the gun slightly more, I guess you could say, heavy duty. So it was really a, a workhorse gun designed for combat, and the 1742 model if you want one that would be uh, in very heavy use in the time period of the French and Indian War, this would be the gun. This one was used by the tens of thousands during the French and Indian War conflict and even later into the American Revolution, but uh, if you want one that would be right at home in the French and Indian War, the 1742 pattern would be your gun. Um, the difference with this gun that I built here as opposed to previous ones, you remember in our other videos, um, the models that I was making, I was using parts from Loyalist Arms, and they are a company that imports their parts uh, overseas from suppliers. This particular one is 100% American made. I built this one with parts purchased through the rifle shop, so we've got American black walnut, uh, cast brass American mounts, all the uh, steel and iron in the gun from the trigger to the lock to the barrel are all American made. So that's something that's uh, desirable nowadays. People wanted to keep uh, things within the U.S. and uh, it made for a very nice fit and finished gun that hopefully the customer will be happy with. Um, so before we end this video we're going to take a trip over to the firing range and put a few live rounds through the gun so you can see that in action and also we'll do some close-up shots so you can see some of the uh, more finer detail of this particular gun so we'll head over to the shooting range alright so we've got a target set up about 35 yards away I'm going to go ahead and fire the musket offhand and for this first one load it in fashion similar to the way it would have been loaded, in other words with paper cartridge. Uh, I am going to prime out of my main horn because I'm not comfortable, as I've said before, uh, priming first, although historically that's the way they used to do it. So other than that, uh, this is pretty much the way it would have been fired during the 1750s and onward. So. I can get my cartridge out. Paper cartridge containing uh, paper wadding, 75 grains of 3F black powder, and a .730 round ball and a little bit of grease there on the end. So traditionally, bitten off in the teeth. Powder was poured down. whole thing was inserted, ramrod withdrawn, and pushed all the way down. A little bit of priming out of the main horn. And as I've said on previous videos, priming out of the main horn was done actually quite a bit because usually the powder was better quality, sometimes called pistol powder. So even though uh, maybe not done all the time, it is a historically correct option. So offhand, we'll see what we can do. I think I hit it, so that's a plus. We'll load up and uh, try shot number two. All right. 
right, shot number two. Alright, before we sign off as promised, some close-up shots of the gun. Uh, just for a little more additional information, this gun weighs, it finished out at about 10 and a quarter pounds, which is approximately what the originals were, and has a fully round 46 inch barrel on it, so a little more technical information there. So starting at the butt. business end. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it uh, informative and entertaining. We'd like to thank everybody for the support and subscriptions and if you're new to our channel we'd like to invite you to subscribe and hit the notification button that way you can stay informed when the new videos come out. So thank you so much for watching today and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Bye now.